Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today for Modern Dating here. He does some pretty good videos on just, you know, the craziness of the Western society. And this one's just the loneliness is actually breaking down these strong and independent women. They're uh, not so strong and independent nowadays. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get that chow. It's chow time. This video shows how loneliness is affecting most strong, independent women. They are struggling in silence. I don't get hugs consistently. I wouldn't say silence since they're making these TikToks, but... I don't hear my name being said. And there's no fault. It's just circumstance. But now I'm in a position where I feel like I sometimes can't picture a love that meets all of your needs. What is your plan B if nobody marries you? There's no plan B. It's plan A. There's nothing wrong with being unmarried, happy, and independent. Guys, <laughs> I think that I independent womaned it too hard. And now I'm 36. Uh, I live in a house that I own with a great career, amazing friends and family, an adorable cat. And I may very well be alone forever. Oh, do you think do you think feminism is one of the reasons it's it's always like sad but you know we're not that devastated by it or anything but when uh, these women realize when it's a little too late 36 38 40 you know it's you know, your adorable cat's gonna take care of you hopefully reasons for female loneliness well, well, yes. I mean, are you for real? So, so like, let me get this straight. Like, I, you know, alternate reality. I'm a liberal woman. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be frumpy. I'm gonna put my career first. I'm allowed to be fat. I can have colored hair, and I can think that men are my oppressor. And then naturally, they're gonna want to marry me and talk to me and have conversations with me. Absolutely not. Yeah. Now we will dive deep on those videos so we can have a better understand of today's content. I don't get hugs consistently. I don't hear my name being said, and there's no fault. It's just circumstance. But now I'm in a position where I feel like no, no fault, no fault at all, guys. It just happened this way. She's lonely. She probably turned on all these men because it was just circumstance. It wasn't through her own choices. Like accountability. I sometimes can't picture a love that meets all of your needs, or most of them. I don't know, I just wish I could like make myself like not want it anymore, you know? <laughs> Cause while I know it's natural to want it, it's painful and I'm tired. And it's just undeniable and I just can't, I can't front. But it, you know, you try to pretend like you don't want love or whatever, but every so often something, ugh. This is the place most women will find themselves in. TikTok. Most of them believed in the idea of spending their prime years for themselves, dating without purpose, parties, etc. Now that they hit the wall, full of mileage, trauma, and other baggage, they are ready to settle and find someone to build a life with. Now they are ready to get married. But the problem is that most men are not looking for a woman who has hit the wall. Nope. Why didn't she try to secure a relationship when she was in her pick? Probably she thought time was on her side. Most of them do their best to ignore nature, but at the end, nature wins. You cannot have it all. There is a time to do everything. How many men are running to wife her at this stage of her life? I Yeah, I really think it's uh, detrimental to women to chase after careers in your early ages and then, you know, try to get kids in your later ages. It's probably better to actually have kids in your early ages. And then once those kids are in school, you can start your career. A career can start almost at any time. It really can. It could be on hold. But there's biological factors when it comes to having kids and, you know, attracting a mate. That's the, the issue of being a woman. I mean, the issue of being a man is a lot different, so. I bet not many. But if it was a few years ago when she was in her prime, she would have a lot of men willing to marry her. Yep. This is just another example of women making a bad decision in life. Now we are going to read the most interesting comments of this video. Oh my God, it's sad to see all these ladies out here crying about this. Kevin Samuels wasn't lying when he said that winter was here, a.k.a. <laughs> the collapse of the modern women. Our 20s is the time to move the right way. 
if you're 30, is going to become more difficult to do everything, even having children. Yep. A lot of men would prefer Rest silence than being with a woman that is constantly nagging. My recommendations for her. 1. Get off of social media. 2. Start exercising every day. 3. Smile. Damn. That's, that's a good one. Start exercising. She was a bigger girl. Smile and be nice to every man that sees you. 4. Let go of all those stupid expectations that women have for men. 5. The next man you meet cooperate with him. Try this for 60 days and see if you can build a relationship with someone. That's actually Hot solid advice. Summers, bottomless mimosas with the girls, girls trips, BBLs, and finding myself phases can only mask the loneliness for so long. There is nothing out there in the streets. Time waits for no one, so don't let it be you waking up one day alone in your 30s because you friend zoned all the good men but gave your body to men who were unworthy. All the best. Damn, this is some uh, some solid child that these women are dishing out. So strong, so brave, so independent, so lonely, so sad, so miserable. Enjoy the wasteland you all created. This is what females wanted. I can do bad by myself. I'm not settling. I'm a boss bay. I'm into my career. Welp. Pick a struggle. Welcome to what it's like for the majority of men, no matter the age. Yep. Yeah, I believe Kevin Samuels was right because I was part of the same generation as Kevin. We have so many single women out here crying that they can't find good men, yet they spent all of their 20s getting run through by the Chads, Tyrones, and Pookie, and now the good men of saying I'm done, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Do you see how this all ended up? Ladies, you brought it on yourselves. Date intentionally before you turn 30. Date intentionally before you hit the wall. I just say date intentionally all the time. Don't date just for these situationships. Don't date just to get your rocks off. You know, men and women, date intentionally. If you're going to date someone, don't waste the time and effort into just getting laid. I mean, it's nice to get laid. I'm not saying it isn't. But when you date intentionally, it just it, you would gravitate and attract different people. Guys. I think that I independent womaned it too hard, and now I'm 36. Uh, I live in a house that I own with a great career, amazing friends and family, an adorable cat, and I may very well be alone forever, because I don't want anyone to sleep in my bed. This bed. This one right here. Uh, so, you know, just a word to the wise. For all those 28 to 32 year olds who are thinking, yeah, I'm an independent woman after a long relationship. I can do anything you can, but just know what you're getting yourself into. Most of these. I don't get why the, it becomes a competition thing. So you separated from a long relationship. I can do anything you can. Like why, why is it to be, all of a sudden become a competition now? to be just as financially stable just to be you know against that man or that partner it doesn't even make sense to me women have no idea what it actually means to be strong and independent they don't know that this will lead them to loneliness until they are lonely most of them regret the decision but in most cases it's a bit late to go back because they only realize that it's a mistake when they hit the wall yep I well, like the part when she was advising younger women about it. She told them to know what they are about to put themselves into before doing it. That was a good move from her. We need more women like her. Women that tell the truth to other women. I agree. She There's not enough of these videos and women around us to actually say, oh, you know, I'm 36. I can't find a mate. I, you know, I think I did wrong. Because more videos like this come out, the more women will kind of wake up to it, hopefully. I doubt it too, just because women are just so hard-headed when it comes to subjects like this. But it's better than the women that are just delusional, saying, "Oh, live your best life by yourself. Live, you know, it's strong to be independent. Life is the best life, you know. Like I'm not lonely. I have friends. I have a cat." She is experiencing the consequences of strong and independent women, and she doesn't like it. And she is brave enough to alert the other women about the side effects of it. Well done. I want to thank all of you. You are my main inspiration.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. It will motivate me to work every day for our community. Let's read the most interesting comments of this video. I'm amazed at how many women are providing everything for themselves, but are still asking men to take care of them. Yep. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest problems men have. You know, if you're, you're able to do everything yourself, but you still want us to take care of everything. But why did you become so strong and independent to do all these things yourself? It, it doesn't make sense. Yes, my ex-wife is an independent woman. Now she has everything that goes with it, bills, rent, and having to work all the time. What good is it for a woman to own a five-bed, two-bath home in a nice neighborhood without the safety and security of a man by her side, without the laughter of her children playing in the yard? It's not just about a man paying bills. It's about a shared life and shared responsibilities, shared joys and shared sorrows, but they only realize it too late. Yep. I have a question for any menists. How can you say you want a man in one breath? That's why you are on dating apps. Then basically list all your achievements as if that is supposed to attract us. You are showing us that we would be dating ourselves. We are not that narcissistic. If you think that you are so wonderful to be in a relationship with, then you can go and love yourself. I have no sympathy for these women, but I am happy to see the men acknowledging what's going on. Keep I ignoring agree. the women, guys, and focus on what's number one in your life. Sometimes it's entertaining watching these people clowning themselves into the void of irrelevance, but honestly, it's just sad. I wouldn't like to see a family member being lonely, bitter, and miserable as these are. Yeah. The only help they need is their own. I laugh when I hear a woman say she thinks men will be attracted to her because she is strong and independent and has a career. Those are at best worth zero points and are usually <laughs> minuses. Women think that making a lot of money makes her desirable. But she doesn't want a man who wants her for her money. Certainly not a man who would live off her. As a man, I want a relationship of mutual dependency. Last thing I want is a roommate to share living expenses. Yep. Oh, do, you think, do you think feminism is one of the reasons for female loneliness? Well, well, yes. I mean, are you for real? So, so like, let me get this straight. Like, I, you know, alternate reality. I'm a liberal woman. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be frumpy. I'm gonna put my career first. I'm allowed to be fat. I can have. Yeah, I didn't know what frumpy was for a little bit. I had to look it up. Colored hair, <laughs> and I can think that men are my oppressor, and then naturally they're gonna want to marry me and talk to me and have conversations with me. Absolutely not. Yeah, it keeps women lonely. Yeah. It's, and they need you to be in the tribe. And if you go against feminism mm. as a woman you will be lonely this is I mean, true Pearl and I have had this experience we go against that sisterhood is so strong i did a video on it too right? it's a sisterhood we ain't got that many girlfriends that's why you always see us together we ain't got nobody else you, you know you i have so many friends <laughs> yeah <No. laughs> you, you pissed off the whole manosphere right about that. You, ain't, you ain't got what no are friends. you talking about they love they have been lied to most of them think that this movement is here to help them but really? in reality it's hurting them i mean Feminism is only really there to help out the top echelon of women. Like there's very maybe like two, five percent of women that actually really truly benefit from feminism, and every other woman is it they're kind of detrimental to them. But every woman is pushing for it, thinking that it's the greatest thing since sliced bread for women, which I mean it's probably achieved some good things. I'm not saying it hasn't, but like the overall net positive is not a positive it's a pretty net negative so far on women we're going to have more and more women going through the same issue and loneliness going to be their main problem because their mindset will push most men away as a result they will be alone yep no man is willing to deal with a strong independent i don't need no man attitude I mean, he's wrong about no men. There's plenty of simps that are still going to marry up these chicks, wife up these chicks. You know, it, it is what it is. We, they, we can't stop anything about these simps. The simps just do what they're going to do. You know, put these women on pedestals. You know, that means the men that never had attention, never had any, you know, sexual interaction or, you know, men and women interaction i guess not even have to be sexual they're going to be just dying for these women still because 
everybody wants doesn't want to be lonely, right? This is the part where simps kind of fill in that void of these lonely women, but these lonely women just don't want the simps. That's such a conundrum. Let's check some comments of this video. I've been a homemaker for the past six years, but a couple of years ago, I got a part-time waitressing job just to get out of the house and have a little extra money. When I worked, girls would always ask for my shifts because they needed the money, so I would give up my shifts all the time. And the other girls grew to resent me because I didn't actually have to work or struggle. Only one girl there actually befriended me and wanted a life like mine. The other girls would almost tease me for depending so much on my husband. They would call me Cinderella. I am lonely jealousy. too. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom and wife and I respect my husband. These chicks don't approve my choices. I don't got no real friends. My husband and kids are my friends. Mm. Misery loves company. It never fails. I was a teenager. I only saw that feminism is dumb when I started wanting kids and thinking about their future best interests. Yep. Both of you women will be protected by all costs and any means. Wish there were more of you. God bless you. It should trigger enough alarms when she gets a cat or a dog in an already long-term relationship. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to give me more motivation and you will not miss my daily post. Man, that was some good chow. Shout outs to uh, modern dating here. Women. Like, men are lonely too. Not saying men aren't. But men aren't making lonely videos like this. You know, regretting their life choices. Sometimes men are lonely because they can't get anybody. They're not attractive enough. They only make, you know, okay money. Uh, they haven't built up those skills. But they don't come on here and start crying on TikTok or make videos about it. They'll be in Reddit, that's for sure. But, yeah, life is, life is tough for both sexes. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.